Step number one to building a report would be to look to see if there is a template already there for the report that you need. These can either be seen in ready-made reports where we have a few different categories, or you can find a selection of templates within the My Reports section. To go in here and run your report, you would simply select the category you're looking for, select the report that you want to run, and simply click into the report. This would then automatically run the report for us. If you want to make any changes to the data being pulled through on your report, you can do this by selecting the three dots on the line of the report. When you then select Open, this will then bring up the report builder for that specific report. In here, you can now go and change the filters and parameters that you want to look at. Therefore, you can simply go and change things such as the date, the destinations, the auto attendance, organisation units that are being pulled through and apply specific filters to them if you want to specify the data that is coming through. If you want to change the date range and use our shortcut keys, a detail of these will be provided below, but you can use shortcut keys such as D to D and this will pull a report for today. If you wanted to do one for week to week, this will pull a report from Monday to the current day within that week. Once you've made your amendments to the report, you can now go in and you can save the report. You can either save it and save over the current report, or you can save as, as a new report within one of the report type formats we were looking at. Once this has been saved, you can now go in and schedule your report. Scheduling your report at the top here will bring you to the schedule report option, which allows you to select things such as the frequency. This can be done every say minute, it can be hourly, daily, weekly and monthly. For weekly, you would just need to select daily and then select the one day that you would like that report to be sent on, rather than every day within that week. You then select your format, the email addresses you want it sent across in and the solution will continue to go out and send the reports once that's all been enabled. Setting up your report to be sent weekly can be very important. Therefore, what we suggest to do is you would simply go in here, you would select your report that you wanted to be sent weekly, such as inbound summary. I would then go into open. And what I would do is I would change the filters to look at week to week. Therefore, I use the shortcut keys of week to week, and this will send us a report from Monday to the current day that you are in within that week. If you are looking to do a report on a Monday that would look at the previous week's performance, the simplest thing to do is to select minus week to minus week. And then in the schedule, your schedule reports, you would simply select your daily frequency to go on a Monday And this will send the report out on a Monday, looking at the previous week's performance. Again, this same concept can be done for days as well. So you could go in, you could do it from minus day to minus day. And this would go and send a report for the previous day's performance. 